Hey guys. So I decided that today we're going to meet my plants because I just became a new plant mom and I'm excited about it and I feel like everybody should know about my plants. So that's it. <laughs> Always some beeping, always a horn. Okay, so there we go. I'm at Home Depot right now in the midst of a bunch of plants. I'm here with my grandma and my son, and I'm about to buy a devil's ID. Why? She didn't like them? She's like a left hand too many. Too many? Well, I can see how it's easy to do. I can see how it's easy to do because just a couple weeks ago, I didn't have any and now I got about five. <laughs> okay, so obviously as of late, there's been a lot of obsession around house plants. I gladly jumped on the bandwagon and didn't even know it. I didn't even know it. I just wanted a specific plant and then I got it and then I got some more and then a few more and now I've got a good um, collection of plants. I have about three more plants before I'll stop and I already have those in mind but I decided let's go ahead and meet them. Now I've not named all of them although I hear that that's a thing and so we'll see. So I'm really excited because I finally got a white bird of paradise. So the captain of the ship, even though this is not the first plant that I purchased, is my bird of paradise, Zazu. That is the name that I gave him. And if you can tell me in the comments, like why you think that I named that, I feel like it's kind of obvious, but you know, humor me. I was really, really excited to get this plant. I Honestly, this was the plant that set off my obsession, mainly because I wanted one just for the aesthetics. I honestly was just looking forward to putting this plant in this window and honestly didn't think anything else through. And then, I saw the plant that I wanted because I did want a big plant, but I saw it artificial at Target for like 130 bucks. I don't know. And I was just, okay, I'll go ahead and buy it. But then I was in Ikea and I saw this and it was only $40. I snatched it. I couldn't even help myself. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I hear these get fairly big and it's already about six feet tall. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. So one thing that I'm pretty excited about is this new leaf. It actually wasn't there when I brought it home uh, three weeks ago. I wanna say that was three weeks. And there's another one coming up right about here. If you can see it there. So I'm pretty excited because I got some growth, which means I'm not killing it. So yay for that. Ignore this big box in the corner. We're definitely gonna discuss that box on this channel. <laughs> I have a second bird of paradise actually. Let's let's meet this second bird of paradise, which I'm going to repot, which is why it looks so dry. I just got it like a day ago. But um I'm really excited about this one because it's so small and I get to like see if I could get it as big as the other one. So I haven't named this one just yet. <sighs> I haven't named this one just yet, just because I kind of don't really know what name I want. Zazu was perfect for me, and now I'm struggling to find another good name. Okay, so on to the first plant that I got. It is a Majesty Palm. This, this plant I named King T'Challa but um yeah i'm really excited because when i first got it here and i actually got it before the majesty or blah i actually got it before the bird of paradise maybe like a few days but this new leaf that it has was not 
as as tall as it is it was probably about as tall as this other new leaf here and then since it's been about like three weeks it's gotten taller than even the tallest leaf so i'm really excited about this one because it shows promising signs there there are these yellow leaves and we did cut them but they're getting even so i think we're just gonna get rid of it all together um so these two are the plants that my grandma is helping me repot in my vlog portion of this video. I feel like I'm just going to go ahead and add it here in, in here today because my might as well. It's relevant. She helped me to repot these because I honestly know nothing still about plants, but I'm going to attempt to keep all of these babies alive. So I have another one I'm going to talk about. Give me a second. So this is my first time <laughs> doing anything plant-related. So my grandma is helping me. Oh, well, so I didn't even put enough water. You need to go all the way to the bottom because you got fresh dirt in there. That dirt in there. And you got to go all the way around it. So I need to put way more water in this thing. Mm -hmm. I got to go fill it up again. Yeah. But this guy will go all the way down to the All right, let's go. I just feel like I'm drowning it. Okay. It shouldn't need no more water on it for at least another week. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do this one. Alrighty. This baby here, I'm really excited about this one. I keep saying I'm really excited. I'm excited about all my plants. But this is my Fiddle Leaf Fig. I've already named her Sweets with an S. Two S's, obviously. But I've named her Sweets, and I'm really, really excited because I was watching this video trying to learn how to take care of Zazu, and in the video, they had this enormous fiddle leaf fig kind of in the corner, and it was so pretty, and I thought, I want that. And so I researched it, and I figured out which plant it was, and I just had to have her happen to see one at home depot surprisingly because i had been to like four and didn't see any and i wasn't even there to to look for this plant i just had been to them looking for other supplies and happened upon this one off in the cut hope nobody was stashing it there for later because i snatched it but yes i am excited about sweets she's supposed to grow up to two feet in a year so we shall see what i can get her to do I have to repot her. I have another pot in there. I might film myself doing that too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yep, meat sweets. So this is plant number what four we've we've talked about right now. Got a couple more. Few. Let's go. Alright, so this baby here, I hate to say it, but it is kind of my favorite. I ordered it from a shop on Etsy. I'll put the link in the description box if I can find it again. But it came straight from um, Miami, Florida. Took a few days to get here, but I was thrilled. I couldn't even wait, honestly. Okay, so this is my new plant. That's your plant, Mama? Yes. Thank you. 
13. Wow. Four beans. So now I have to repot this and possibly name it or something. So this new leaf here was not there when it got here last week. That actually looked like this. So in a week I got a new leaf and there's five other ones sticking out. Let's see if we can see them. Here's one here. There's another one here, that's two. And then there are two more back here, but I don't know if you can see them. Yep, these two, so that's four. And then here's the last one, five. So I got already six new leaves that are coming in, plus probably some more. I'm really not sure about this little brown piece. If this is normal, let me know. I have no clue these like brown pieces. I know the new leaves come from them. I don't know if they like fall off, they wither away, what? So whoever knows about plants, just go ahead and say so. But I'm pretty excited about how big the leaves get. Um, getting holes in them, but some of them were there beforehand. Like I said, they came from, it came from Florida. I don't get an extreme amount of light in here. And so I highly doubt that it's getting burned by the sun. Anywho. Like I said, this is my favorite. It doesn't have a name yet though. Uh, any care tips you wanna share, please go ahead. When we first got it, it was quite root bound. So we did have to repot it, but we didn't wanna put it in too big of a pot. So this is what we went with. I think this is a 12 inch. And oh, also this little cute stand. I wanted to get a stand. So that same day we got one from, uh, I think TJ Maxx it was like $15 and my grandma was like in love with it. So, um, Yep. Let's go. Let's meet the others. All right. So this is my pothos or devil's ivy. I have a bad leaf that's browning. I, I'm not really sure what to do with it. So if you can give me any tips, please let me know. But I think that it has a fungus of sorts because the leaves are rotting. Or the leaves are turning brown. Like there's brown spots on that one. And there's another one over here like you see that it's really bad and I don't think it was like that when I first got it I got it last week when I was with my grandma I think I held it up in the video um, but there's also these little gnats that fly I think you just saw one you see and so I just googled it because I just noticed and I feel like they said those are like fungus gnats or something and yeah, so I, I'm not really sure if that's like this is a done deal, if it's something that you can help, but I want to keep this plant and I want to try to keep it alive, but I'm not really sure with all that going on. So definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. My last plant is actually one of my faves because of her color. Um, this is a Juanita. I call her Juanita because actually the little insert that came with it said that that's what her name was. I just had to have her because I love pink. And um, she's actually grown quite a bit since I got her. She was only $3 at Walmart. I was there looking for some plant, plant supplies and of course I saw her and was like, ooh, let me do it. Um, one thing, so when she first came, it was in this planter, but it had a lot less dirt. And so I watered her and I sat her on the window seal. The very next day, all of the leaves and stem had drooped. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this that I killed a plant in less than 24 hours. And then I Googled it and it said, she's thirsty. And I'm like, I already watered her. So I put more water and I sat her on that same window seal. And within an hour, the leaves perked up. She's twice the size that she was when I first got here. So um, I'm pretty excited about that because that means that Look, I got new leaves on like three different plants. Got, or shoot, four. Look, I think I might be on to some here. You see what I'm saying? I might be a good plant mom. I'm kind of feeling myself a little bit right now. Um, so my, my dad came and saw and said that she needs to be repotted because the pot is just a smidge too small and she's going to continue to grow. So today I'm actually going to go out and look for another pot for her so that's part of the reason why she's so dry because i'm just gonna do the whole repotting process today 
for her as well as my small bird of paradise and my lovely sweets anywho so you've been introduced to all of my plant babies i think i'm gonna get at least three more anywho these are my plants hopefully i can i can take care of them so we shall see give me any kind of tips you want i want to soak it all in so that i could be the best plant mom that i can be i will let you know when i get my i don't even say if i will let you know when i get my other plants i think we're going to stop at 10. if you know of any big leaf plants that i probably would like or should consider based on just the atmosphere that i have uh, let me know in the comments as well please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because that's how we're gonna stay in touch since we are new friends so until then like comment and have a wonderful day i sure will